Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It is time to build again today. I have got the Lego Friends Heart Lake Pet Center here to build. And this is really, really cool. Do you know, this is actually supposed to be a Toys R Us exclusive, but because Toys R Us have actually, well, gone into receivership, they've, I, I'm not certain where else you can get this from apart from the Lego shops. So it'll be interesting to find out as time goes on which shops are actually gonna stock this. But anyway, we have got a nice big box here with five bags and three mini dolls. So the first one included in here is Mia and none of these mini dolls have actually got new outfits. They're kind of wearing their new generic outfits if that makes any sense. So they've all got a new look for 2018 but this is kind of their standard outfits. So we're going to see these a few times I think. So we've got Mia and we've got Stephanie which is good. They can both be included and Liam it's always nice to have Liam. I love his top. I, I just love that shirt so much. And he's got the spiky hedgehog hair. And I think I'm going to put him in charge of the shop part of this pet center. Now, there's also a little basket. And in the basket, a shopping basket, we've got a $100 bill and a list. So you don't go in and just buy random stuff at the shop. You buy what you have come in to get and nothing else. No impulse buys. You hear that, Stephanie? Good, you'll have to remember that later on. <laughs> okay, first part of the build. If we're going shopping, we need a shopping trolley. And, and you may notice as this build goes on, the colors are actually complementary to the Heart Lake grocery store, to the supermarket. So you could put these as kind of next to each other. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no mucking about in the trolley. Haven't you heard all the announcements while you're in the shop? Say, do not play in the trolleys. Don't stand up, don't play. People fall out and hurt themselves and go to hospital. Honestly, hmm. And the set comes with a vehicle, if you don't count the shopping trolley as a vehicle, which you should not. <laughs> it actually comes with a little van. And this is just the cutest little build. It's really simple. It's just enough room in here for one mini doll. But there are the cutest little lime green doors on. And now we've got the headlights and we've got a nice little hood on there and some side mirrors and it's really you're really starting to see how this is going to look so it doesn't have an enclosed cabin it's just really meant to be a little runabout town and we have got the pet center logo on the sides and this has a multi-purpose vehicle so you can use it with a little red light up if you're using it for an emergency vehicle or you can tuck it down inside if you're using it just to transport the animals say to the grooming parlor which we will build soon and it's not actually an emergency so you don't need the emergency light oh look at that i heart little puppy paw prints <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised that that is the registration plate. It's really cute. So there's room in there for an animal and we don't have actually met any of the animals yet. This set comes with five animals and we'll meet them as we open more bags. But a little delivery van or multi-purpose van is done and we're up to bag number two where we get to start building the actual well, the actual, they call it a pet center because it's more than just a pet shop or for pet supplies. It's got a grooming parlor and it's also got a vet, a little vet clinic in it as well. So multi-purpose, very, very cool. And I love all of these diagonal doors and the diagonal windows. Well, this one's a door and it's got a bone for a door handle. <laughs> oh, that's very, very cute. So it's a little brick building with some nicely angled windows and doors to give it an interesting form and an interesting shape. And look at how those two actually come together into a point for what looks like is going to be the entryway. And now we're heading around the corner and we're pretty, pretty much done building actual the floor plan so this is how big it's going to be and check this out it's a little pet door to get in the pets are very special here at the pet center they get their own special door oh boy this sticker is packed full of details there are a whole heap of things to buy for pets and there's a lost dog poster and you can also get emma services as a pet photographer all you have to do is take your little rip off bit and get her number excellent and Got oh, a floor to ceiling aquarium, just a display one maybe? I think it might be a display one. I don't think you can buy that one because I think it's gonna hold the roof up. <laughs> so you don't wanna take that away. It's quite structurally important. <laughs> and over here we've got two little shelves. They are cool because we can put things on them and they will hopefully not fall out. Nice design. 
And it's quite actually a big floor plan as well for a building of this size, probably because the shoppers are going to be able to get that trolley around on the inside too. That's important. There has to be enough space for the trolley, not just walking space. All right, we're moving up here now. And obviously with all these smooth pieces, we're going to be able to detach whatever goes up on the next floor. Cause this is a two story building, which is exciting. It's got quite a lot of content in it. And this here is the little puppy symbol, the little puppy paw print, could be a kitty paw print, which is actually the symbol for the pet center. We've already seen that on the side of the vehicle. These cute, cute little colorful awnings definitely match in with the supermarket. I like that. I like how the color schemes are going to match really nicely. It's going to look good in my Heart Lake City. And this little birdhouse up there. All right, we're up to the next bag. And I actually forgot before we do that to put the open sticker on the front door, which is kind of important. Otherwise, everyone will think it's always closed and no one will ever come into the Heart Lake Pet Center. And that's really sad. Well, maybe they just knock on the door and they find out it was open. All right, we've now got room for some flowers on the outside. Very important to have a bit of color and a bit of nature outside. And there is also a fire hydrant, just a little token one, so that the dogs can stop by there. <laughs> oh, look, here comes some animals. We've got a turtle and we've got a hamster and they have come in through the pet door and they're just gonna have to hang out here for a while. Oh, actually, the turtle, Bubbles the turtle belongs here. Bubbles is gonna sit here in the window and say, please take me home, I'm the cutest little pet ever. That looks like a display area. I wonder what we are going to be displaying in the windows. We've got, oh, actually, an aquarium. So you can take a fish tank home. Oh, I can't fit that in with, with Bubbles being on an angle. Bubbles is going to have to look out the window straight. <laughs> and another aquarium. That one looks like it might even have a hermit crab hiding in there in the sandcastle, maybe. And on the back side here of that little aquarium, we've got some hamster food. Oh, this is good. The pet shop is starting to get stocked with supplies and some more. That looks like fish food on the top there, I reckon. What do you think? I think I think it is. <laughs> that looks really great. I would definitely be enticed into the store by those gorgeous aquariums. Now over here, we've got a whole heap of little jumper studs and over on this side, some smooth areas, maybe for the trolley to be parked on the inside. I don't think so. I actually don't think so. I think we've got some more little jumper studs there and oh, one of these little variegated pieces, which means we're hopefully gonna have a moving component with that smooth surface. And here we've got a cog and a five cent piece. So where the money is, the money and a moving, oh, it's, 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 it's like the checkout. So it's got a little moving conveyor belt for the checkout. There's our actual cash register and the animals can go for joy rides on it when it's not being used. <laughs> so it's multifunction. Okay. We have another display over here in this window, obviously, cause that is a perfect place to put a display. <laughs> and on this display, we have got a very cute little hamster run here. That's going to go over these two little jumper studs there. Oh, look at that, Stephanie. Oh, she really wants to come in and the hamster can hop up here. Harry, the hamster can hop up there in the front window and go, please buy me. I'm very cute. Oh, and a water bottle or a, or a water or a, or a feeder for for a little rodent for a gerbil or a hamster. Now these are cool because they actually pop off so you can take them in and out if you're setting up the store and playing with it. And what are we putting on those display shelves? Well, in this box, we've got some treats and well, actually we only have a single treat on it and it that's false advertising. That's supposed to be like a box full of food, box full of treats. It's totally only got one treat in it. I don't think I'd want to buy that. I would feel as though I'm ripped off because there's only one actual piece of food in it. Oh, it's on the 50% off table. Well, no wonder <laughs> people have found out how little food is actually in that big box of pet food. And look at the cute little birdhouse and a pet feeding dish. Oh, we've got everything we need here. <laughs> but obviously no one's buying those things because they're 50% off or <laughs> on the, on the marked down table. And we've got some, yep. All right. Some dog food and some miscellaneous other sort of food in this little container and these, oh, these go on the shelves. Oh, that's really great. So they're nice and easy to come off. They're displayed over there on the wall and some more food. This one is 
rabbit food and another miscellaneous little pet food box and this one goes in the top shelf oh that's just adorable <laughs> it's just so adorable okay I think that the bottom level is pretty much done. We are up to bag number four. Ah, oh, but I've got pieces left over. I've missed some pieces. So outside the pet door here, there's actually a water bowl and a little tap to fill it up. And I missed off this black piece. So that was kind of, it was one of those leftover pieces that you can tell should have been on the set somewhere. So moving into bag number four now, we get to start building the first room up on the next level. what's on this sticker we've got awesome pictures of recently groomed animals and a mirror so this is going to be the grooming parlor or the grooming salon where the pets come to get clipped and brushed and possibly washed and to look their very most beautiful best oh and I love the scroll pieces outside as the decorative work on the on the wall oh and the arches oh the external facade of this building is really pretty and we've got a moving part there for a teeny tiny seesaw for the next animal, the little baby bunny. It's a little pet seesaw. No, Mia, you're way too big for that. You're going to fall off. That's too, or it's actually never going to go down because you're too heavy on one side. And a little door that goes inwards. So there's a little pet playground, a little pet play area out there on the balcony area <laughs> it's really cute so they can go out there while they're waiting or after they're finished being clipped <laughs> okay what do we have inside the grooming parlor we have got the grooming chair which the next animal lady the poodle is demonstrating for us how beautifully you can sit or how beautifully you should sit when it is your turn to be clipped and over here we've got some lotions and some accessories oh and an ipad or or some sort of tablet there so that the groomer can keep an eye on when the next appointment is and make bookings and stuff like that. It's like a mini computer, but not a computer. Now we've got a brush and we've got some scissors for clipping and a magazine <laughs> so the animals can read the latest in animal fashion. Perfect. <laughs> so we can groom them and we can clip them. Oh, <laughs> that's really cute. And there's a spot there for a bow too. And there's a spare bow. Absolutely so, so cute. The grooming area. Let's put this up here. Nice and easy. So Mia can be in charge of the grooming maybe. We'll just have to decide. We're up to bag number five, which is uh, a very similar room to the one we've just built actually. <laughs> so let's get that much down and then we'll see what the detail is inside the room. Well, this sticker gives it away. There's a vet's, uh, or like a doctor's coat and a whole heap of doctor things there and some lotions and medicines and a stethoscope. And we've got these matching windows like we had on the other side. And our same little scroll pieces and our little bits of colour in the window and the arches. And now... Now we're ready to start fitting out the inside, but we have a matching door. So this is going to actually line up with the, the little playground on the other side. And on that little, that little, uh, that little technic piece that you just saw before, we're actually going to be attaching a swing for the last animal, the little bird, five birds. So Mimi, the bird, Oh, it's going to be there on the swing or any of the animals can have a go on a swing if Mimi will get off it and actually share it. And we need, because it's a little vet clinic, like a teeny tiny one, maybe an emergency vet clinic, which is actually what I was thinking about doing for the bottom of Sophie and Henry's house was putting an emergency vet clinic down there. So I don't know whether we need more vet clinics in Heart Lake City. So I might have to think of something else. You're welcome to give me more suggestions, but that's what I was going to do. But I may have to think again. I'm still planning. I'm still planning. I promise that Sophie and Henry's house will get more stuff. The bottom level will get done properly. Now, we've just put in an examination table and we've got the scales. And Mimi the bird is just sitting on that, making sure that she's still a good weight for a bird. 
And this little table here is holding some of the doctor accessories. So a stethoscope and a syringe and a little cold pack and some medicine. That's perfect. And we of course need another little cupboard to hold the rest of the accessories. So a thermometer and a medicine spoon, all those ones that come in the doctor's pack and the baby's bottle thing and a little nurse's hat or a little doctor's hat. And on top of that, we've got a keyboard a little, a, a little, a little, little keyboard, a little <laughs> computer area. And on the computer screen, uh, it looks like we've got today's schedule up and some of the patient details. And on the hook, we've got a nice old fashioned phone there for making appointments. And on the clipboard, it looks like Minnie the little baby rabbit is in for a checkup today. So we'll have to see how Minnie is fairing and this goes over here and you can actually angle the clipboard in or out you can really set this up in lots of different ways we'll have a play with it and see how it goes and there's a pen which is supposed to just sit here that's going to totally fall off as soon as i move it <laughs> might have to sticky tack that onto that surface so this goes up here right next to the grooming parlor we'll put our birdie back over here look there's the little playground in the middle it's just adorable and you remember that little birdhouse up here there we can pop a little birdie there this is cute and it's not exactly the pet shop that i would perfectly want but as a pet center it's got a lot of play potential we can take these actual rooms off you can use them in isolation so you can use this as an emergency vet center or as just a normal vet center or you can use it to take the animals to the grooming parlor and you could just use the grooming parlor by itself so or you can just use the store by itself as well all right, let's send Stephanie out for some supplies. And I think Lady needs to come and be clipped today. Lady's getting a little unruly, so she's gonna need a brush and a clip. And while she's doing that, oh look, Liam's gonna take Lady up, up for the clipping today. He's in charge of the grooming parlor. Well, this is nice. Let's see, off you go. Come on, you know where to go. You've been here plenty of times before. And while she's doing that, Stephanie can go shopping. Now, only get the things on your list. You don't need anything off the 50% table. You've come here for dog food. That's all you need. Just dog food, Stephanie. That's it. Oh, but Harry the hamster is so cute. She's just stopping to say hello to Harry the hamster because the hamster is just adorable. And up here in the grooming parlor, no, I don't think I don't think Lady really wants to read at the moment, Liam. I think she's she's really keen to get clippered. So let's move some of the other stuff out of the way, and then Liam can get to work. He's just going to put this magazine down here just in case Lady changes her mind because she might, you know, puppies can be fickle. <laughs> and it's time for a lovely groom all over get all those knots out and then give her a clip clip her into a really nice poodle shape whatever shape a poodle is and then she can have a bow just so we know she's been to the grooming parlor oh and she's off she's not even waiting for a treat <laughs> come back oh and stephanie well stephanie's ready to check out now so she's been waiting for liam and oh look liam's brought brought a bone uh hold on stephanie there's puppy food on there, but there's also a hamster in your trolley. Well, if you're taking the hamster with you as an impulse purchase, you also need to take some hamster food as well. <laughs> I don't think it's very responsible to be impulse buying and a pet, but I'm pretty sure that Stephanie is a responsible pet owner. I think that she can handle this. <laughs> so Liam's made a sale today and done some grooming. And I think I can hear Mia is coming in with an emergency patient. This little bunny is suffering from the gloomies. Oh, the bunny, baby bunny does not even want to come out. It's not talking to anyone. I think, oh, I think she's just sad and I think she just needs to have a bit of a play on the play equipment and then she can go back home again. Sometimes you just have a case of the gloomies. Now, if you do have a case of the gloomies, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will endeavor to cheer you up anytime. <laughs> make sure you check out some of my other videos because they're also pretty cheerful too. <laughs> and I'll see you with a new one really soon. Bye.